In this video, we will show you how to replace your outside door mirror on this Dodge Ram. This will be mounted directly to your door. Let's get into it. Let's get started removing the inside door panel. To do that, we'll make our way right up inside here. You'll find that you have two Phillips head screws. Remove the pair. Take hold of that grab handle, give it a little wiggle, and we're going to lift it up and out of here. There should be a couple little tabs coming across the front that hold it in place. Now we can move down to our inside door handle. For this, you'll find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt. In some cases, it might even be a Phillips head. Once you have that nice and loose, you can remove the bolt with the handle at the same time. Now we can make our way to that window crank handle. To remove the crank handle from this area, you'll find that in between this plastic washer area and the crank handle, there's a small metal clip. We'll be using an angled pick to remove that clip. Just make our way in here. Pop this out of place. There's our clip. Now we can remove the crank handle. At this point, we'll just have a look at the backside here. We can remove these two pieces. With that out of the way, we'll continue on to our one Phillips head screw up in this corner. At this point, we'll continue on with a trim tool. We're going to start getting in between the door panel and the door itself and gently separate it. There we are. Now up near the mirror switch, we have to make sure that we disconnect that wiring harness. We'll grab onto this electrical connector right where my index finger is, there's a small squeeze tab. Go ahead and squeeze that in and disconnect that. We'll give it a quick inspection and we can set this aside. With the door panel out of the way, we have a clear view of our mirror wiring harness. We'll squeeze on this little piece here, disconnect the electrical connectors and take a peek for funny colors. This looks fine, we'll set it aside. Move along up here, remove your insulator, set that aside. Now let's have a look in this area. That's where you'll find your three pieces of mounting hardware. In this case, we'll be using a 10 millimeter to release each one of these. For the last one, you want to make sure you're holding onto that mirror so it does not fall and potentially hurt you. Let's give the mirror a little wiggle and start pulling it through. Keep in mind you do have this wiring harness and it needs to be pressed through the door as well. There it is friends. Let's clean the door where the brand new mirror will sit. All right, let's get ready for installation of our brand new mirror. We'll take this and put each of our three mounting studs through their corresponding holes. While we bring those into position, you also want to make sure that you have the wiring in the proper position through the center hole here. Let's pull that wiring. You want to make sure that's sealed properly. Just pull up the slack and line up each of those three studs. At this point, you can start on each of your three mounting nuts.
Take hold of that mirror and make sure that it is secured properly to the door. Now that we have each of them snug, torque them to 60 inch pounds. Let's put in our foam insulator. Now we can connect in that mirror. Double check to make sure that's secure. At this point, you could take a wire tie and tie up the slack. Now we can get ready to install that door panel. Let's press this into position. Listen for a click from that. Now we can bring this up nice and high. We'll be paying attention to our door lock knob. You wanna make sure you slide it through the door panel. Now, as we continue down at an angle, we'll be paying attention to where the window crank handle will go. Make sure that's aligned properly and you can start pressing this into the proper position. With that in place, let's put in our upper mounting screw. Let's install that grab handle. We have our two Phillips set screws. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our door handle. You'll find that we have a Phillips head bolt on this. We'll take this, get it aligned in the proper position and tighten it up. Right there's where it's bottomed out. Just make sure it's nice and snug. The next thing you wanna do is just make sure you test its functionality. Let's install that window crank handle. For this, you wanna make sure that you have the plastic buffer facing in the proper direction. So the concave area is facing towards the crank handle. Now we can take this, we'll slide it on here and then press this into position. Okay friends, we fully installed our outside door mirror. At this point, test its functionality. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.